Hello and welcome to another episode of The Fence Show, Active Yards edition. And today I am very excited to have a guest visiting our Galloway office from Polk County, Winter Polk Haven, County Florida. Winter Haven, Florida. Yep. Ken Morrison of Superior Fence and Rail. Welcome to the show, Ken. Thank you. Excited Appreciate to be here? I am very, yeah, <laughs> learned quite a lot. Have you had a good day today? Yeah, it's been good, been very good. So you flew in this morning from Orlando? We did, yeah, flew in. Uh, arrived here around 11 o'clock, had lunch, a tour of the factory, uh, some training from Jen, and ordered a truck from Matt. Matt actually got a sale today? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Good job. And uh, Never let him, don't let him leave without a sale. He closed the deal before <laughs> I got through his office. <laughs> well, that's good. And you brought a guest with you today? I did, yeah, for a little bit of active yards training and an insight. Any particular uh, person who that was? I brought my oldest son, uh, William, that's uh, getting involved in the fence business. And uh, I thought some education from other than me he might listen to a little bit more than he has been. I know the feeling. Yeah. Uh, my, my daughters were track uh, runners for many years, and, and I have a lot of experience in track running. And uh, they wouldn't listen to a word I said, but they listened to the guy with the whistle, no matter what his experience was. So mm. good idea bringing him here. So uh, well, a couple of good things, and welcome again to the studio audience. We have a studio audience today. Hi, everyone. Hello. Yes. This is our first studio audience episode of The Fence Show. So uh, we're excited to have you here today. Um, this is also the first time we're doing a show from our home studio. Something tells me in a couple months, the studio will be a lot different than it is today. So <laughs> those of you are watching out there today at, at home, uh, this is just the beginning of uh, the, the, a bright future. You won't know the difference whether you're watching Jimmy Fallon uh, Conan O'Brien or The Fence Show, Active Yards Edition. So, uh, so anyway, uh, Ken, I'm so uh, excited to have you here. So I'm just going to take advantage of you taking the trip. And first things first, you don't sound like you're from South Florida. Um, are you, did you grow up in uh, Dixieland or where are you from? No, actually? originally originally from Scotland. Then we moved to England. And then I think my wife calls it a midlife crisis. Then we, uh, we moved to Florida 10 years ago. 10 years ago. Yep. And what was your trade in, uh, in England? I was in construction. I was in building and remodeling homes and properties. That was my main business. Okay. And so 10 years ago, you came over and you started, decided to start a fence company. And you got started about, what, eight, 10 years ago? Yeah, about nine, nine, nine years ago, we got into it. We applied for a visa. Um, come across, started working with some, some fellow fence people and uh, established a shop in Polk County. So that's in Winter Haven, Florida. Yeah. Okay. So now you're nine years into the fence business. And if I recall, when we got started with you with Active Yards, um, you were just getting started or did we just start with you about a year after you got started? It was started? about a year after. It was... Um, a year into it or so. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, so you've been with Active Yards since basically 2009, I guess, 2010, yeah, probably. 2010, yeah. Uh, awesome. And what's your business uh, makeup as far as like um, residential, commercial? Is it primarily residential? It's about 90% 90 residential. Yeah. Um, it's a easier place to, for us to be in. Um, and it gives us the advantage with the tools that we have. We are certainly at an advantage. Yeah. And it's a more comfortable place to be at. Yeah, and what's your make? What's your mix? You think between you know the four different types of fencing: aluminum, vinyl, chain link, and wood. I think around sixty percent vinyl, twenty-five percent aluminum, um, and a mixture rest of wood and chain link. So your basic, you know, for those of our um, our dealers and viewers around the country, that that's a pretty big mix of vinyl versus wood. Um, so on a typical backyard, you're, you're probably for a privacy fence, you're probably hitting 80% vinyl, 20% wood. Is that about what it is? Yeah. Yeah. We've been together for a long time and, you know, as a partner with active yards, you and I have worked together. Jen's worked with you. Um, your business superior fence and rail Polk County is probably one of our top, top 10, top 15 dealers in the country year in and year out doing a fantastic job. Um, what, uh, how would you describe your relationship with Active Yard? Um, it's gone from strength to strength to strength to, to market leader, really. I mean, we are 
without a shadow of a doubt. Uh, we had a few teething problems at the start, um, come with some great benefits, and the products developed from commodities into ingenuities, and then everything with that comes with that from the brochure, the videos, the product, everything is just it's just it's put us so ahead of the, the game. Yeah. Um, it's incredible. My biggest, you know, empathy to your situation in Florida is you're in a very commoditized market. Mm. And, you know, vinyl fence is, you know, unfortunately very prolific in terms of distribution. And our marketing plan was designed for you to have a competitive advantage. How do you set yourself apart by using the Active Yards ingenuities? Like, what are the highlights of your, your sales presentation, whether it's you or your sales team? Like, how do you, how do you bring in, let's say on a, a privacy fence like a dogwood, how do you bring it to life with the ingenuities? Like, and and what, how do you position the competitive advantages? Well, we, we, we use the, the, the brochures, we use samples, we use the videos, and then them three alone puts you at a competitive advantage. And then you add in your experience, your skills, and you know your interaction with the customer. It just it it builds, and the whole story from the start to the finish is is there. But it, mainly, it is the samples is a, a massive advantage. The videos, you know, where where else do you go and get a, a video of? a fence being erected and all the ingenuity of a fence. And do you show people that little glide lock video on sales calls? Oh, most definitely. You mean like we, we set it up on their iPad. They've got all four. They've got the Stay, stay Straight, they've got the Corrigin, the Solar Guard, and the Glide Lock. Depending on what they're selling, they will set up their iPad and push play. The customer will be watching the video while they're drawing up the paperwork, drawing up the proposal. Mm -hmm. And a picture tells a thousand Words. You, yeah. mean, you can't, you know, you look at a 90 second clip, I could sit here for five hours trying to explain what's in that 90 second clip. Yeah, and it's and right there. And it's a visual, yeah. it's a visual aid that, that will win. Especially for Solar Guard and things that are more oh, esoteric. Yeah. 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 And it, it, will win, it will win the advantage yeah. without a shadow. Yeah. So, so, what are the biggest challenges running a business? You know, like what's your biggest challenge? The biggest challenge is, is setting yourself apart from the competition because people just think of a white fence is a white fence, uh, which is one of our biggest sellers. But until you actually get in front of the customer and educate them, then it isn't a white fence anymore. Yeah. You mean it is an investment into your property. When you bring it to life with active yards and the ingenuities, then yeah. it kind of takes you away from static, yeah. like the competition. And obviously trying to compete at a, a reasonable rate compared to a mom and pop truck outfit mm -hmm. selling a commodity is hard work. But you know, we, we've been very successful and quite blessed that we've got some good sales guys that have grasped the whole package. Right and they, they promote that heavily, and they upsell competitors of 10, 10 to 15%. Yeah, you need to, you know, and that, you know, it's in order to maintain a profitable business, it only makes sense. What has been um, your experience with any of the Easy Fence to Go and, and material sales strategies? Have you been incorporating them into your business over the past couple of years? We've tried the Easy Fence to Go. Um, we didn't push it as hard as we, we could have. Um, but now, obviously, I've got assistance from from a younger family. generation. Younger generation with who knows how to sell stuff. Yeah, on the internet as well. Yeah, I uh, had a conversation with his son today, and I was pretty impressed with some of the cool things he knows how to do, and and how he's uh, starting to move some product on Facebook, uh, local marketplace, and some other things. Which a couple months from now, we'll have uh, we'll have him and his son uh, Billy give us a little uh, presentation <laughs> <laughs> of how to do it. That's how fast we work around here. You go from not knowing anything about anything to being the expert in a matter of a month. So keep that in mind, everybody. <laughs> I, can, I can sell and put fencing, but I'm not no Ridley Scott. Well, I think I'm we a film director. I, I think that you can do well in that in that department. Uh, so, uh, but that so you're starting because you were he was sharing today that he hit a few um, orders right off the bat, just uh, just trying to do a little bit proactive uh, marketing that way. Yeah, so. it was just a Sunday morning cup of coffee, and it was popped up on Facebook doing social media stuff, and it was marketplace. So I started looking, and people were selling things. I went, oh. Why not? If interested in I got a big pile of fence in my backyard. I might as well like sell it, right? Six for six, white fence, best products on the market, X amount of dollars. I got hit with like 200 messages. And it was like, well, I've got too much to do. Billy, 
So I woke him up, dragged him out of his bed, <laughs> <laughs> and I said, this is what you need to do. How and many years of college you got done too? That's good. Yeah. You're helping me out. Yeah, so he, he, done a, he started job. doing it. And um, I think like, I have to stop at the bank on the way home to get his commissions out. Uh, and it's, <laughs> sometimes it's painful. Well, I think that uh, you're onto something there. And I think it's one of those things that you start slowly. You're kind of like, you, you see there's a little fruit there. You kind of put a little bit more energy mm -hmm. into it. And believe it or not, you may find that there's a whole market there in that material side that is totally separate from the install side. It's almost mm -hmm. like the way that you looked at, you know, your business with the box store versus your retail business, they're parallel universes. Well, guess what? There's another universe over there. Yep. And that's all the people that just want to buy materials. Some other fun stuff. Uh, so what do you like to do besides fence? What's your um, hobby? Hobby, I used to play golf. You used to play golf yep. before you became a fence man. Yeah, I, yeah, pretty much so, yeah. And then now I'm just sort of like, seven days a week, 365, live by my cell phone, which which I don't like. Uh, we like to eat out. My wife and I got some friends, um, two kids, two dogs, and uh, look after the house, really. Yeah. And go to work. An American dream. Yeah, and live in the sunshine. That's <laughs> and, the best thing, live in the sunshine. And live in the sunshine. Yeah. But your business has grown pretty significant. I think you're running like, you know, normally you run about three or four salespeople, right? Yeah, we're around three sales guys on a regular basis. Um, We've, we've got up to five crews. Everyone here in the north, you know, we, you know you, everybody's jealous of you. You got the good weather, you got the 12 month fence business, mm -hmm. you've got sandy digging. So no one really feels bad for you about you anything do. that you do because you live in fencing, fencing fantasy land. I mean, seriously, I mean, don't we hear that every day? I, and you guys whine and complain about how competitive it is, but in the reality is, you, you live in the best country in the world, you got the best industry in the world, the best brand in the world, the best weather, the best state, the best digging. I mean, you should wake up every morning and be like doing the jig, you know? Yeah. yeah. So is that how you start every day? It's like, wow, I got to remember, I do have the greatest deal. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, it's actually, perspective. No, actually, I wanted, when we first came, I wanted to say we retire. I think I'm working longer now because it is, if custom, some customers didn't get in the way, it would be a great job. It's just those pesty customers that yeah, get in the way but otherwise of, that, it is a of great the check. Job. Yeah. <laughs> it, is a, it is a great job. You, know, you get to meet lots of people. You get to educate people. You get to promote a great brand. You, and you put the job in the ground. You put your name on it. And you it's take there. You photograph. And uh, it's an achievement. And you're yeah. proud of it. It's, you just said it perfectly. That's, what, that's how I actually look at defense sales business. And that's exactly what my father told me 30 years ago when I interviewed him, ironically enough, it would have been 40 years ago. I interviewed my father for um, a term paper for, for high school. And I asked him, what do you like best about your job? And it's exactly what he said. He said, I get to drive around the countryside, meet new people, solve a problem for them. Then I get to um, give other people an opportunity to make money by installing the fence and, dig and, and all that. And then I get to see it all the time after I sold it mm -hmm. for the next 20 years of my life. Mm -hmm. And I was like, wow, you know, that sounds like better than selling insurance. You know, like, you know, it's pretty cool. It's tangible. Yeah. So that's a really a good se uh, sentiment. Well, it's like having billboards everywhere. Yeah. Because when you put your nameplate on the fi finished product, yeah. you're proud to do it. It looks good. It's an awesome product. It's got your name on it, so. It's your stamp of approval, you know, yeah. it's, it, it is. What are you most proud of um, with the, what you've accomplished in the past nine years? Because I got to tell you, I'm proud of what you've done and I'm not you. I just <laughs> so, I, I think we're proud of the growth. Yeah. Uh, learning the American way, proud of the growth um, of the business um, and where it can go and where it's gonna go with obviously the backing of these guys, you guys, the whole team, the digital assets, the marketing, it's, it's an endless piece of string. What, what, what's your, what do you think your goals for the future are? Like, where, where would you like to take it from here? Um, just continued growth and just setting ourselves and, and having the confidence of walking into a house knowing that you're gonna walk out leaving a customer enamored that you're so much better than the competition. Yeah. Because you are, with, with what we've got, no, no one else can touch us. It's refreshing yeah. to hear you say that because I, I honestly, when I hear you speak and your salespeople speak about the 
ingenuities and all the other assets that we have to help you sell the product. I can just tell that you really use them the way they were designed to use. And I think that you, you get the benefit out of that, you know, um, and especially in a very competitive market where you really have to have that differentiator. Mm-hmm. So, uh, so we, you know, we appreciate that. And, and what, what can we do to help you on the marketing or sales side what, you know, to help your life be a little bit better you know, from, you know, from that support standpoint? Well, I, I learned a couple of bits today from Jim with the HOA and the builders. And then I've got to, but they're all there. I've just got to tap into them. Like yeah. the, the marketing department with the digital billboard we want to do, um, the Facebook advertising and the co-op and it's all there, it just needs to be tapped into. Right. And unfortunately, because I've been very busy, well, fortunately I've been very busy, <laughs> um, I just haven't had the ability, and hopefully bringing Billy along will give us the ab- extra ability to tap into all the assets and all the ingenuities and resources that you've got yep. that you give us. Yeah, and all the opportunities that yeah. exist. One of my favorite sayings is, if you come and work for us, it's, it's a marathon, it's not a sprint. You know, you've got to be in it for the long haul. Yeah. Don't think you're going to come in, make a quick few bucks, and move out. Yep. You know, we're in it for the, the full full distance. That's awesome. And then that gives you actually more valuable. Your, your, it shows your employees that you value them because you don't want to just invest in a fly-by-night, you know. Yeah, I, I don't want someone You don't want to, to use in. them, and you yeah. don't want them to use you. Yeah. I don't want them to come in for a couple of weeks and then go. Yeah. I mean, I want them to come in, give them security, give them um, appreciation, and, and it'll come back. Yeah. To me, via the customer. Yep. So, yeah, we're trying to grow within. Well, we're here to help you, um, every you know, every step of the way. Thank you for taking the time to visit today, and no, uh, thank and take, you for the education. Yeah, and training, and and uh, thanks for taking the time to come to the uh, to the fence show, Active Yards edition. It's fun to have uh, people from out of town. Hopefully, this will be the beginning of many uh, many people that will be in the in the seat on the set. You know, and uh, we'll have a lot bright future with that. Um, is there anything you'd like to leave with us? You know, you have the whole team here. Any suggestions? Anything you would, uh, you know, compliments? Anything? You know, we, we take it all. We'll take anything that's good or bad. You might want to say something nice about uh, the person that, you, uh, rep- that represents you. Uh, yeah, she can be a little bit fierce at times. Uh, <laughs> but um, Jen no, I've got, I've got, I've, I've got a dream team. Everyone, even like people from my office, they, I've now started getting them to speak to Matt, Matt's there to back them up, been Becky for, for years, it's been, um, it's awesome. We're so you have a nice team and you have, your team is excellent and you're, and you're happy with your team back at, at the office. Yeah. Then you have Matt who takes your orders and he's been doing a great job. Yep. Then Jen has done a fantastic job and yep. Jen's a big advocate for you. You know, she doesn't let time go by without really f- standing up for you and fighting for you and making sure you get everything that you need. So uh, I think Jen has been uh, a great asset for us both. I think when she's bored, she gives me a call. So uh, I up. sense that too. Yeah. She calls me when she's bored also. Yeah. Well, listen, thank you for taking time to visit the Fence Show today, Appreciate Active Yards it. Edition. And uh, good luck in the future. Thank you very much. All thank right. you guys. Appreciate thank you. everything you do. Thank you, everyone. Yay!